50 years ago, in December 1969, the Nixon family spent their first Christmas in the White House. Thanks to Pat Nixon's attention to detail, to her vision, her taste, and her energy, Christmas 1969 was full of events and historic firsts. For the first time ever, Mrs. Nixon opened the White House to the public for special nighttime candlelight tours. Some 10,000 guests took advantage of this special opportunity. Another of her firsts, and the start of a tradition, was decorating the outside of the White House with candlelit wreaths on every window. She also launched the tradition of an annual White House gingerbread house. She wanted the decoration of the splendid 19-foot-tall White House Christmas tree to have a theme, and she chose the United States. She commissioned 50 unique 8-inch silk and velvet ornaments, one with each state's name and official flower. She arranged for disabled workers in Florida to make them. She gave the White House creche a place of honor in the East Room. 350 guests attended a Sunday morning worship service in the East Room to hear Handel's Messiah. At the worship service two weeks later, there were traditional carols. The Nixons invited Bob Hope to launch his annual USO Christmas tour in the East Room. The cast included actress Connie Stevens and lap-in dancer Teresa Graves. The performance was preceded by a small dinner. Mrs. Nixon hosted a reception for more than 400 children of the D.C. Diplomatic Corps. Many wore their country's national dress, and they delighted in a performance of the Nutcracker. The next day, the First Lady presented a check for $200,000 from the profits of the Nixon Inaugural Committee to Washington's Children's National Hospital. The Nixons hosted holiday receptions for the White House staff, for their military social aides, for the press and media, for members of the cabinet and sub-cabinet, and for congressmen, senators, and their families. On the 21st, the Nixons welcomed the three young Apollo 12 astronauts and their wives with a small dinner and invited them to stay overnight in the White House. On December 16th, the First Lady and daughter Trisha joined the President for the lighting of the National Christmas Tree. The 1960s had been challenging and daunting for America. Now the President was looking forward and already planning to make the 1970s a more promising and more peaceful decade. Several handwritten drafts show how thoughtfully and carefully President Nixon had crafted his words. We hope during the decade of the 70s that we'll be able to have clean air and clean water and make progress in all the great problems, including an end to hunger in this country, something we're capable of doing today that we couldn't have done 70 years ago. But above everything else, in this Christmas season, as we open this pageant of peace, and as we light this nation's Christmas tree, our wish, our prayer, is for peace, the kind of peace that we can live with, the kind of peace we can be proud of, the kind of peace that exists not just for now, but that gives a chance for our children also to live in peace. That's what we believe in. That's what Americans stand for. And that, believe me, is what we shall have. And my friends, I also say to you that as we look at this great tree, there is an old saying about Christmas trees. It goes something like this. May a Christmas tree be as sturdy as faith, as high as hope, as wide as love. And I could add, may a Christmas tree, our Christmas tree, be as beautiful as peace. I think it is. I think it will be. And may this moment be one that history will record, was one in which America looked forward to a decade in the 70s in which we could celebrate our Christmases at peace with all the world. And now, with this electronic device, which also did not exist 70 years ago, we light the tree. Hey. <laughs> I'm Hugh Hewitt, president of the Nixon Foundation, and on behalf of the Nixon family and our board of directors, I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs>